Hi everyone, it's Andy here from MN Moto. Thought I should uh, get on here today and, and do a little bit of explaining. Uh, last video that I had did not have uh, audio, it just had sound. Um, today's video I'm going to show you has got audio, um, but it, it's you know half as good as <laughs> as it should be. I've uh, been playing with a couple of different microphones and uh, neither of them have been working. So I went and got a Sony microphone after the two I, I showed you in today's video and it still didn't work. And uh, having uh, uh, conflicted thoughts about whether I should be producing these videos, um, if I should only be showing the, the best content after I get through all of this or um, if it helps to um, you know, show all and, and have you guys learn from my experiences. Um, looking at my audience, I've just got a handful of subscribers right now, and, and most of them are starting motovloggers. So I thought, you know, maybe it'll be uh, good stuff to pass along. Um, some of you may already know. Maybe you guys can give me some advice, um, but we'll we'll go from there. So here here is uh, the ride from the other day where I tried a couple of different cameras. Hopefully, um, you can hear some, and then give me feedback of your thoughts. is not uncommon for Minnesota. We get a a real nice uh, April snowstorm every once in a while. Doesn't, doesn't work on my reporter at all, and it works on 
this idea, especially after the Johnny knew. Like, oh yeah, that's the best ever. And uh they see other people just snipping the earbuds off their Apple microphone, throw it on their iPhone. That's the best sound quality I hear. I don't have an Apple, I've got a Android device, so I kind of came up with my own version of that. We'll see how that works. Um, but after I try these, you know, four to eight different things, I'm going to try microphones. If it still doesn't work, I'm going to call it my head. Quality microphone, there's omnidirectional, there's voice filtering and all that. There's noise, noise cancellation, whatever you call it. I'm pulling over here just letting this guy buy me. for a little drive and this guy's right on my fucking hand. See all the gravel on the side of the road. This next uh, set of curves can be treacherous. I drive them all the time. I live right by here. Not worried about it. Except for, I, I did one whole one more class video on spring, your first ride in spring. Of course, none of the audio works, that uh, sucks, but uh, one of the things I mentioned is that, you know, even if the weather's nice in Minnesota in the spring, you may want to wait until the roads are cleaned up. We've got a lot of rain, so this corner here isn't too bad, but see where this gravel right here comes onto this road? That could be Marble City, and what I mean by marbles is it's round rocks from the gravel road collect there. And you hit that corner around the corner and you're not ready for it and you're pushing it in the limit yeah your bike's gonna come right out from under you and that is not gonna be a good day so that's why i let that little car by and take my time get her down to the 35 that's recommended around these corners you'll see it again on this one right here it's been pushed up a little bit there, but the outside line, you can still see a lot of rocks. That and the patch holes, the patching strips, the potholes. You can see all of how cracked up the roads are. They do a tremendous amount of work in Minnesota on the road. We actually have a lot better road maintenance in a lot of places. It's hard to believe it helps speed up the roads a lot, but it's just the, the weather, especially in southern Minnesota, the free thaw cycle is ridiculous. That was microphone setup number two. I'm gonna go back into the menu. All right, that was pretty painful, but uh, just wanted to show you kind of what I've been going through. Um, that didn't show the third mic I cut off right away. I, uh, that was the best um, footage I got of scenery and talking about things about the channel. It was very frustrating, again, that they didn't, didn't work out. Um, but I did go after that and get a Sony mic. Um, had a lot of the, the same 
issues with the Sony mic, which eliminated the microphone because the, the Sony ES uh, microphone that's I'll put in the description below is um, super high quality. Um, so what I came to for a conclusion after doing the research was the level of gain. And uh, this Olympus WS-852 that I've been using only has a high and low setting for gain and you can't tune it. Um, so after doing some research, I found out that I could use um, my Android with the Sony mic, um, download it, download it probably a dozen different audio programs and played with them and decided on one um, that was recommended in a forum called RecForge. And actually it's RecForge 2 um, now with a no, Roman numeral 2 on it. Um, and then I got a dead cat, uh, put the, the dead cat in my, on the Sony mic and put it inside. I don't know if you can see this. Put it inside of my chin bar right in the middle. And um, besides that, I got, I went and got a chin curtain that's custom made for this, this helmet from Bell. So I believe now with those four things, the new microphone, the dead cat, the recording software and the chin curtain, um, I should be able to reduce the wind noise, not have that peaking um, and be able to get a, a smooth recording of my voice. As you could tell, um, with the low gain at a stop, it wasn't that bad. Um, it, it was usable at least. And uh, so that's what I have coming up. I've got uh, more ride videos with uh, usable audio. Um, I've got um, I bought some new handlebars. Uh, you may have seen my grip um, installation vi video. It's not really installation, more of just a, a, a hack or a tip video. I'm going to put together um, some Harley uh, Mini Apes on my V-Star, which I haven't seen done um, before. I think it'll turn out pretty quality, but it'll be a, a learning process. Um, nothing that can't be reversed if, um, if I don't like it. And other than that, thank you everybody who has subscribed and has been tuning in my videos and, and giving me encouragement. Um, it's been a lot steeper of a learning curve than I had expected. Um, it's been a lot longer spring than I had expected. We've got a foot of snow on the ground again, which is starting to melt. Um, and hopefully in due time, um, I'll be back on track and producing some good quality content of um, some amazing riding in Minnesota. Um, thank you and have a great day.